Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Rachel Anna. I am here to share a recipe, a delicious recipe that you can make in one pot. It is the season of one pots. That's my brand new cookbook, Rachel Anna's One Pot Three Ways. I'll link that down below. You need to check it out, the recipes incredible all new delicious recipes but for now i'm actually going to use a recipe from my first book and i'm just going to make it in a one pot way just to give you an idea of what we're doing with one pot it's delicious summery flavorful and amazing it's the spanish butter bean stew if you have my book then you can make it with me get it out we can cook together Part of the magic with this recipe are my fellow friends, the oyster mushrooms. These are, I was gonna call them magical mushrooms, but that could get misconstrued. <laughs> These mushrooms, they are magical, but just with the textures and flavors they bring out. If you can't get oyster mushrooms, you can use regular ones, but you're gonna see as we cook just how amazing they are at kind of bringing a really, dare I say, meaty texture to vegan dishes. It's just, this beautiful texture. It's amazing. I highly recommend oyster mushrooms. And if you don't like mushrooms, you will probably be converted to like oyster mushrooms. I've said it, it's happened. I've seen it, I've witnessed it. So that's the magic of this recipe. We're gonna season it up a little bit. So I need a bowl, oyster mushrooms. Just tear them apart roughly. You still want them chunky, just tear them apart loosely and then you get really nice mouthfuls of these chewy delicious mushrooms which are going to be all flavored up with what we have in store seasoning i'm going to add a little bit of liquid smoke it just brings a smokiness as the name says to the mushrooms it's delicious as soon as you open it, it smells like barbecue also got some soy sauce it's going to bring some umami flavors slightly salty just to add some extra flavor to the mushroom then sweet smoked paprika So we've got sweet, smoky flavors in here, which are gonna be amazing. We're gonna set that aside. The other component to this recipe, roasted red peppers. Now to keep it all very simple in one pot, as my recipe book says, you can buy roasted red peppers. I think I actually have some. You buy them like this, they're already roasted. They're ready just to pop straight into your meal. But today I have some peppers that need to get eaten. So I'm gonna roast some red peppers. Very, very simple. Just gonna put the oven on. To roast the red peppers, very simple. Put them on a roasting dish. Add in some olive oil. This one's not open yet. Add in some olive oil. A little bit of sea salt. Then you just wanna add this to a preheated oven. They're gonna get nice and sweet and caramelized and delicious and juicy. And roasted red peppers are like one of my favorite things. So put them in the oven let them do their thing and we're gonna cook the rest of the recipe. We're gonna go for our mushrooms. So we're just gonna heat a pan with some oil. Then we're just gonna add in our mushrooms once the oil is nice and hot. Mushrooms in general release water when you're cooking them. So you will get a little bit of liquid come out with the oyster mushrooms. So the goal is to cook off the water and then what starts to happen is they start to char and get crispy and slightly caramelized little edges and that's where the flavor kind of sticks onto the mushrooms and it just releases the most amazing texture. That is the aim, what we're going for. It smells amazing. Doesn't it smell amazing? I'm not making it up, it smells amazing. This is kind of like what you would do in meals when you prepare your meat. It's kind of what we're doing to the mushrooms. Our mushrooms are done, so we're just gonna take them out while we prepare the base of this delicious stew. Okay, and we're gonna use the same pot because why add more pots and do more washing up? It makes no sense. And we've got loads of flavor in there already. I'm using two red onions for this recipe. With the onions today, I just want to slice them so we're not dicing them today. Really nice slices. How do I want to do it? Go that way. 
and then oh my god my eyes <laughs> i was like i was like timing it like you can do it keep going don't stop and then ah burning burning <laughs> wow it was like a workout and you're like keep going one more press up Ugh, okay lots of sulfur in those okay I've had conversations with many chefs. There is no real hack. Some onions are potent, that's in your eyes, and some aren't. It just depends on what onion you have. So no one in the comments dare say, Rachel can't handle onions. This is a potent onion, okay? I'm not having it. <laughs> Let's go back to these potent onions. <laughs> Tell you what, right? It feels great to have a breadboard that's big enough. <laughs> it makes all the difference, you know? Who knew? Who knew? So onions. We're gonna make those delicious. Courgette. What's the other word for courgette again? Zucchini. Slice in half. Slice in half again. Mm. Garlic. Because my little garlic pot isn't here. Garlic. Again, this is a recipe where do not be shy with your garlic. Don't do it. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Garlic, courgette, red onions. We've also got fresh rosemary. Amazing. Oh, it smells so good. And some bay leaves. These are dried bay leaves. I recommend fresh. I just couldn't get hold of any. Get what you can get. And we're gonna sizzle these down and bring out some flavors. So we're gonna cook the onions and the courgettes until they get nice and brown. We've already got some flavors that we created with the oyster mushrooms which is really just enhancing the flavors. Beautiful day. I think summer's come. Summer has arrived in the UK and I ain't mad at it. Onions are nice and brown. I'm gonna add in our garlic. Now we're added in our paprika. You wanna get a sweet smoked paprika. Fresh rosemary. Bay leaves. A nice chunk of tomato puree. Give it a mix. Now we've got this really delicious flavors coming out. You can see the red rich colors, which are beautiful. This is where we add in our wine. And this is gonna add an extra layer of flavor of oomph of body. Just get a vegan friendly red wine. I put the exact measurement in the book to support it. Just I mean, I might as well finish it. You can see that the wine just intensified everything, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna turn up the heat at this point because we're gonna cook out the alcohol. You wanna see your wine reduced to about half the quantity that it was. And it just infuses with the rosemary, the paprika, the onions, everything we put in there and the wine is just gonna create really, really, really delicious base for the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna add. We have got a delicious, sweet from the onion, spicy with the paprika, smoky with the smoked paprika and the paprika base, it's time to add in the rest. So, I've got chopped tomatoes, just going straight in there. Butter beans, my favorite. So at this point, you would add your roasted red peppers, but as I said, I did roast my own. They are looking delicious. <laughs> I would cook them a little bit longer, but for the sake of time, and they are pretty much done. We're gonna go straight in. Now they're hot, okay? They've been in a hot oven. So I'm just gonna poke a hole in, let the heat come out, then chop them up. To make things nice and saucy, because we wanna like 
dip bread in there, it's a stew, it's delicious. I'm gonna add in a good vegetable stock cube followed by some water. So like I like to do, just break it up in there. The final additions now is to chop up our bread roasted tomatoes, add in their caramelized delicious flavorful mushrooms and the masterpiece is almost ready. I mean look at that, these are just delicious, absolutely delicious. You can just put these in sandwiches, just go crazy. You see how the skin is just kind of peeling off? There are safer ways to do this by letting it cool down, okay? Just a warning, let it cool down. Don't be impatient like me. Then underneath you get these super sweet, tasty red peppers. And you definitely want to keep that juice and add it to our stew. Some people like to keep the skin on. That is definitely your choice. I like to take it off, but if any parts don't want to come off, I just let them stay. Just look at them. They're so vibrant and colorful and tasty and sweet and <sighs> yum. And we're gonna get that juice in there, which is why I put them back in the tray, because it's flavors. Then our mushrooms. It is. Guys, it fits. It fits. I have to whisper to emphasize how it's saying you have got delicious, delicious. So we're just gonna bring up the heat, we're gonna let it cook, and it's gonna slightly reduce, thicken a little bit, but we do wanna keep some of that sauce. Our delicious. Spanish butter bean stew is ready. It smells amazing, it looks amazing. I've got some fresh sourdough olive bread to go with it. We're gonna dip it in there, get it nice and saucy and delicious and it's incredible. So a few more things before we eat our food. Lemon, a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Just before serving, adds a freshness. It helps bring out the flavors, it balances the salt essential in my opinion. Beautiful. And also guys, it fits in the pot. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Parsley, oh, my favorite, smells amazing. Just a little bit. Just wanna eat it. Okay, let's do a taste test because how can you cut fresh bread and not just eat it? Vegan butter. Is a go. I'm just gonna slather that on top. I just love bread. <laughs> Amazing. There's a little dip. Should I? No. Save it, Rage. Save it. Time to dish up, okay? Get in here. See all the textures of the mushroom, the roasted red pepper, the cannellini beans. It's Thick, it's delicious, it's saucy. Okay. I'm doing a little taster size, right? A bit parsley. What better way than with a piece of fresh sourdough? and a nice amount of vegan butter on top. Oh my days. All right, we're getting saucy first. That is so good. Oh my days. That is beautiful. I need a fork, I need a fork. Let's get one of these delicious oyster mushrooms and roast red pepper. Rachel's happy. There's such a variety in here, from your creamy butter beans to your sweet roast red peppers, red onions, courgettes, which just kind of burst of flavor, your chewy 
meaty oyster mushrooms. It's and that really delicious smoky sweet paprika. It's so delicious. Taste the rosemary. <sighs> this is happy. This is a happy place. I am literally just gonna sit down in my garden and have a glass of water and I would say wine, but still breastfeeding, so I will just save some water. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna eat this because this is amazing. Make sure you try this out, you try this recipe. Let me know if you like it. I hope you love it like I love it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the recipe today. Also, my new cookbook, all new delicious vegan recipes is on pre-order right now, coming out this August. Make sure you check it out. I'm gonna leave the link down below. It's literally my favorite work so far. So please check it out. There's so much one pot, one pan, recipes for you guys one tray i'm making it easy and keeping it flavorful okay check out my book i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe for new videos and um hit me up on instagram if you want to see more of what i'm up to more of what i'm cooking when i'm testing all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next video bye